Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Uh, we are still looking at the latest developments uh, in Catal. We are looking at the latest development as uh, according to uh, the, the according to the government that will to us. Remember, we are talking about the Milpo uh, exhibition that was in DCC and a lot of developments that came in. Remember, we looked at one development that was the introduction of the Dicto uh, Dicto ID. That will a digital ID app that will contain or contain what you call digital wallet that will contain all your documents. In today's video, uh, also the Minister of Interior also launched uh, uh, other 17 new e features uh, to be on what you call the Metro H2. For those people that have the Metro H2, other 17 new features uh, were added uh, along to, alongside. Uh, uh, we are added alongside to the existing features. Remember, all these are coming because of the sidelines of what we call the 14th, uh, 14th uh, mail poll, uh, mail poll uh, exhibition uh, inauguration. And remember, we say the mail poll uh, uh, exhibition, we had a conveying of, of more than 99 entities uh, to showcase the latest development in technology, uh, including the homeland security and their civil defense that they have to do to, 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 to give out to the citizens and residents of Katai Mwanwodha. Among the services that we are looking at now, uh, there, were, or there were six new services that we are, we are added on the metrash too. And remember, when we are talking about these six services that we are added on metrash, we are looking at services that we are originally uh, handled by what we call the expatriate affairs de uh, department. Remember, some of these departments, for example, renewing your ID or renewing your, renewing your residence ID, you needed to first submit documents or you needed to first submit those documents to what we call the expatriates of your department or you needed to go there in person. But for this case now, according to the latest information we have, with the introduction of these six services on the Metro H2, you can still do all the process with your mobile at, at hand and you can still still get the same services that you will get when you go there in person. One of the things is one of the reasons why these things is coming and new services were added on Metrash uh, as according to the latest information is to avoid the too much time uh, time that will taken up and the queues in the, uh, the Ministry of Expertise Department that things can be definitely handled in a dicto uh, way and all services will be agreed and people can get the same services. And one of these services or these six services that we are talking about, we are talking about services that include what you call um, uh, added on metrash that we include what you call the residence fee services. Remember, when we are talking about the residence services, we are talking about the residence permits uh, that are supposed to be in the country. And what does it mean? What are those services? One of the services uh, that is under what you call the residence permit, if you go in Metrash 2 and you check under the new feature that was added, which is the uh, residence permit, you may find this what you call application of renewal of residence permit and re uh, receiving what you call application uh, renewal. Remember this one, before to receive application renewal of residence permit, you needed to first go to what you call the directorate, uh, if you needed to first go to the directorate of uh, expert affairs department to get the approval by submitting what we call by submitting what we call the documents that are, are required for that case. Then also under still the same the same we look at uh, what you call uh, changing uh, changing passport details. Remember, for example, if you had an old passport and you need to change your details into the new passport in case one expired, you needed to first go to what we call. Uh, the department of uh, the, uh, the expatriates affair department but right now you can do the documents or you can do all the registration using your metrash too that service is being there and added there that you can do the side you can do that using what you call your mobile phone or using the uh, login what you call the app where you have that app and you definitely can access that service because it is added you are uh, you only need to attach the uh, the required documents and the approval will be done and you'll still get that message that is done. Also what you call issuing of what you call residence permit, this was also, remember, issuing of residence permit, you needed to first take what you call medical test and also what you call fingerprints. So remember, all these now are going to be done in what you call metrash 2. It's going to be done dictatorially because these are some of the services that are being added and it's just by your hands that in a few steps, uh, submitting the required documents, it will be done. Then probably you get approval in that case, in case you are approved and definitely 
the rest of things will be working working out and you'll be you'll be entitled to get your id then also uh, getting your id and i actually that is by actually completing the whole process of it all other than moving uh, from one a or moving from uh, moving from one point to a point and getting into alongside getting to what we call long queues uh, for for the id then another one is also uh, Understood that we look at another one is cancellation of residence permit that require approval from the expert's department. Uh, the expert's appraisal department. You know, there's um, some cancellation of ID where you need to cancel your ID, but you need to first get approval from what you call the expert's department in that case. So, in that case, where you need to get ex uh, uh, approval, uh, by you no longer need to go to, 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 to the main office or to the department's office, but you can still do it from, from your phone where you will be uh, you'll be guided uh, to the next steps and you'll follow the steps until you can get the approval. Then still another one is what we call uh, what we call residence violations fines that may be imposed by expatriates uh, which need approval by expert by the expatriates appear department will also also be done digitally or will be done by or using metrash 2 or under metrash 2 where they will be they will, they will view they will view your, your submissions then also you will get approval by your phone and they will guide you they will further guide you on the necessary steps to follow after the submissions are being done so meaning that yeah they they do no longer be more time to waste or even lining up for long queues and moving for long hours or waiting for long hours in one way or the other then also what we call uh, tracking application for resident services uh, is also understood that that for example if you are going to, to do what you call tracking you need to track your residence permit or you need to, to track your residence permit uh, application or uh, printing then definitely for all those services that you track them in one way or the other then also in uh, number two uh, under the metrage two under one of the services that are being provided is we call the service of search and follow up uh, uh, dependence uh, this uh, this one is also when we have uh, the service of complaints uh, if you're complaining if let's say for, for example you need to follow up with something complaints of heavily work for example employee authorizes a person to submit a complaint against employee this is quite very important and definitely we shall go to into the details at in these services for example such and follow up dependence we shall have complaints heavily for work where employee where employee can complain about the worker he can do it dictionary uh, for he can do uh, directly on his mobile using the metrash then where we have financial uh, financial claims for example there is overstay somewhere and companies including fines like overstays still that will be done what you call by it will be done by what you call the dicto uh, using what you call the metrash too i think this is what we call some of uh, that is what we call some of the latest information that is being uh, being uh, being being included in one way or the other that uh, it is going to help out uh, to help is going to help out to see that uh, people can definitely get out in, in one way or the other can have that one uh, uh, which is quite very really good or services that is going to accrue then also we say what you can also track what you call uh, uh, track uh, the recruitment approval is still under the same thing if you want to track if you've submitted forms for recruitment for recruitment and they need to be approved by the, the directorate of uh, expertise affair department then probably it will be a very good is to just be using your phone under what you call the metrash tool then also we have another service now service number five is what we call establishment of card services uh, this one is issuing what we call establishment of service uh, card is a card uh, for example those who are dealing commercial businesses you need to pay up licenses uh, electronically you need to get approval uh, cancellation of licenses cancellation of um, uh, penalties paying up for penalties having valid uh, permits for you to start up a business still that service is under what you call is, is also a new service under what you call establishment of card services still under what you call the metro so these are new services that are being added and crucial which are pretty very good in one way or the other still under that when you talk about consul uh, cancellation of establishment uh, licenses where you need to pay overdues you need to pay all the acquired fees is still under that at one way or the other 
Then also we look at uh, service number 10 that is still under that is what we call reporting service. It's called communicate with us. We call it preventive security. Remember when you, when you see this one in Metrash, it's a new service that is being added or it's a new service that is being added. And this one, it calls upon all residents and call upon all citizens. If you see something that is harmful to the community, if you see something that is not right, you can call direct or you can send, you can uh, alert the required authorities uh, uh, directly. However, as per the ministry, this is this is just only added is that to insert what we call the moral values in the community in one way or the other. So meaning that for people who are out there in the public, you only need to be a bit very careful because everything can be done smartly in the phone, very fast, easy and fast. If someone can complain about you, he doesn't need to take a little bit of papers to complain, but or he needs to take up uh, he needs to take up the number, then he can message or he can directly report using his mobile phone under what we call the metro. So these are the new services. Uh, this was the uh, details, this was the services that were being added in Metrash. For people who are using Metrash, I think you can still ac access them if you're using the Metrash right now. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for getting updates from Mix. It's Mix from the next question. Remember, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that you will be supporting me and it's the only way that you will be supporting this channel. By the way, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section section where you feel we need to talk about something we need to discuss about something let us know such what we can talk about it and share in one way or the other uh, remember it's makes from the next question i'll see you uh, in the next video